Ahoy there, Captain Goujon here, and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program. I've been busy, hard at work, just, you know, doing really cool shit in space, and it's been tough. But the benefits are wonderful. I just want to introduce you to the big un. We've got space docking down to a fucking fine art now. And look at that shit, it's beautiful. I cannot tell you how goddamn hard it is to get everything perfectly aligned in space, since I have zero coordination anyway. So just try doing that with no gravity. It's just not, not easy at all. But it's perfect, look at it. It's just, it's a monster. And it's appropriately named The Big Un, because it's fucking huge. Look at the size of it. We've got a few of the bits to do, and then we're going to do some really sweet-ass shit in space. This is my next add-on to The Big Un. It's the littlest battery, since I don't think we have enough power on it, so we're gonna just, just gonna toss some more shit into space and whack it together. Let's get to it. Fire cannons, now. I do really love this game, it's... You can spend hours and hours doing fucking nothing, and you don't even notice. I've literally logged like 220 hours on this game, and this is the furthest I've ever got, so... I'm really proud of myself right now. I'm going to send my CV across to NASA after this episode, just because I think they'll be really impressed with what I can do. I that all they'll send me a hilarious letter back saying, you're a pathetic waste of space. Either way, a response will be lovely. Oh, God. No matter how many times I go into orbit, it still turns me on just looking at that fucking amazing skybox they've got in this game. Jesus Christ. I love throwing big things into small place, into... No, that's, no, it's a big place. Space is a big place, so yeah. Oh, gonna get that perfectly circular orbit right now. It's gonna be fucking sexy. Oh, come on. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, it's right. Get in there perfectly circular, right? Oh, yes. That will fucking do. God, if I was a, some kind of astrologist, I'd be the biggest douchebag ever. Let's just get that aligned nicely. Doopity boo boo. Doopity boo boo. I seriously feel like I'm qualified to do physics now. I don't think I should be able to, but it's quite worrying since I might just take up a career. Just lie on my CV, say I've definitely got all the correct qualifications, and then kill thousands in a terrible space station accident. I can't imagine NASA's CV process is very rigorous anyway, so. Like a predator in a playground in a trench coat, it's time to make my gentle, subtle approach. Let's do. Just gonna stick the speed right up. So it's got quite a distance to go. And just imagine a guy running through a kid's play area. Just like that. Looks pretty good though, I like it. It's very stylized. Lots of shiny things. I don't like shiny things. Okay, I'm gonna cut my throttle now. I'm gonna burn prograde. Retro retrograde. Come on, slow, slowly. Oh god frame rate, why? Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Too much speed. I think someone said speed is key. Not in this game. Patience is key, and I am an impatient motherfucker. Although I've just gained loads and loads of distance on it, so that's always good. So I must have run straight past that one. Too excited. Far too excited. Oh god, I just can't wait. Okay. Oh god, it's so laggy. My PC just can't handle it. Uh, that's fine, fuck it. I'm not gonna spend too much time here anyway, just gonna try and get my old battery on, and then we're gonna go. Just gonna go fly around space and shit. I don't see why not. I'll just really show off the mad tech that is the big un. I had to kind of decommission my previous one. It was an emotional day for everyone, really. But mostly for me, because many Kerbals died. But I think the new one's much cooler. Much cooler indeed. So I'm happy with that. Delicious hoe garden. 
Oh god, it's so delicious. Nothing like space exploration and getting drunk. Mm. It's light and fruity. I should advertise this ship. Not German, though. I'm assuming it's German. It's got an O and an E and a G. O and a line. That's usually a sure shot sign that something's German. That and a tiny mustache. Probably should start slowing down now. Ah, I like living on the edge. Like Keanu Reeves in Point Break, you never, ever let someone else check your shoot. True story. I want parachuting. I've never been, I've never been parachuting, not, not a lie to anyone. I want to go parachuting now, that'd be ace. Just pissing yourself in midair. Like anti-gravity, but wetter. I wonder what astronauts do all day. Astronaut stuff. Step class. Playing with their own urine in anti-gravity. Just flicking it around like little beans. Disgusting. But fun. And that, kids, is why everyone should be an astronaut. Come on. Uh, uh, frame rate. Can't quite tell how fast I'm going. If they want to slow all that... God's sake. Fucking stop avoiding me. That should do. There it is. It's gigantic. I might put this in the back, actually. That would look pretty sweet. Fucking sexy-ass tri-engines. Let's do that. I was going to stick it on the top, but I think it'll look kind of shit, so... Let's go with this instead. It should be easier to align than everything else I've had to put on so far as well. Since side profiles are fucking hard. So boring. This is my least favourite part. I am incredibly impatient at the best of times. When floating through space, even more so. I just want to go fast. I just want to go fast. I just want to let it go. I just want to go fast. But it'll all be worth it. I promise. Because I'm going to have some fucking sick old engines on my jet. Ugh. I've decided the battery is going to get sacked off now because it's just a lot of work for not very much payoff. So we're just going to go land that back on Kerbin just to be on the safe side, really. Don't want to be causing any trouble on the old... On the old spacecraft, so we're going to do that. Where, where shall I land it? Here will do. Let's go this way. Coming into the atmosphere now, Captain. It's looking like we're burning alive. Luckily, there's no one actually on here. This is all remotely controlled, which kind of takes the fun out of it. But you know what? I don't like sacrificing life if I don't need to. Unless it's children, in which case things just go nuts. Just go absolutely nuts. So I was going to start killing off that speed any second. Any second. Any second. Any second. Any second around about now. Oh my god, it's broken the game. And that, guys, is how you perfectly land back on Kerbin. So this is about to be my maiden voyage with the uh, with the biggin. Not sure how it's going to fly. <laughs> Probably not very well. We'll soon find out, though. It's going to be super sexy. Just look at it. It's magnificent. Like a fine sh a ma fine specimen of a human being. Oh my god. No. No. Uh, no. Oh, man. All that fucking work for nothing. I think going full power is probably my first mistake. Probably. Anyway, there's been more Kerbal Space Program. I enjoy building huge fucking ships in space, and this is awesome. So yeah, I'm probably going to do some more of this if it's popular. If not, I don't give a shit. I'm going to do some more anyway, because I've logged enough hours to, to not stop now. It's depressing. But yeah, if you've liked this shit, like this shit. Share, subscribe, do what you got to do. And until next time, Captain Gujon, out.